Welcome back now crew. Welcome back. Get excited. Get excited. I got a new video. I got a new video. I got a new video. <laughs> if you guys are new here, you probably are like, what did I click on and what am I watching? I'm so sorry, but I'm excited. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so hyped today, but I am. Anyway, this video is dedicated to all my sisters and brothers out there suffering from lupus. If you know anybody suffering from lupus, send them this video link. This video is just for them. Lupus sucks, and this video is just going to help bring awareness to it. So before I talk about lupus, let me show you guys some of the colors that I might use today. So with lupus awareness, the color ribbon for lupus is purple. So I have a few of my favorite purples I don't know if I'm going to use all these colors but I'm just swatching them and then I'll kind of eyeball as to what looks pretty together and things like that so I'll show you guys at the end what colors I use I'll actually tell you guys the name and the company and things like that so you guys can purchase if you like to I don't know what I'm gonna use yet y'all I don't know what I'm, you guys know how I am I don't know what I'm gonna use but I have everything here and then yeah i'll just use whatever i feel like using so anywho lupus sucks y'all lupus sucks and may is lupus awareness month i'm going to put up a little something something right here on the screen so you guys can see all the symptoms not even all the symptoms not e this isn't even all the symptoms some of the symptoms that people with lupus suffer from and i am not saying let's feel sorry for them i am not saying let's feel sorry for them but i do want us to have empathy for them like we need to empathize with these people who have an autoimmune disease that they did not ask for and they have to suffer with it for the rest of their life there's literally no cure for lupus all right so hold on hold on so i know i have all my purples because that is the color or the theme for lupus but y'all I gotta throw on some pink I gotta throw on some pink so yeah okay pink has nothing to do with lupus awareness but pink is pink and I feel like pink will bring any set to life the first glitter nail that I did that glitter that glitter y'all oh my gosh <laughs> that glitter is everything it's from the company sparkling co that glitter is everything but this pink i needed something to make my swirl nail pop and i am going to do a swirl nail right now you guys can watch me do the swirl but i needed something a little bright to just make it pop you know so i have the white i have the purple i have the glitter but I needed that pink. I needed that little bit of pink. So that's why I had to pull it out. I had to pull it out, y'all. I had to pull it out. So with the swirl nail, all you have to do is make the beads very wet. You don't want to put too much acrylic on the nail, but you do want the beads to be very wet. And that way they can swirl very easily. Another little tip or trick that you guys can do is switch out your brushes. If you find that you're trying to do a swirl nail and the swirls are just too muddy or it's just not turning out right, switch out your brush get a smaller brush i actually have a size two brush y'all i have a size two acrylic brush and when i was practicing on my swirl nails and trying to get my swirl nail technique down i would just switch brushes and i would just use my size two brush but i feel like i'm getting better at them and i feel like i'm okay using this size 12 and it's still coming out great i love it i love that that is that is beautiful and that is beautiful I'll give you guys a close up that is gorgeous that is gorgeous but if you're trying it you're trying it you're trying it it's not turning out right switch brushes make sure your beads are very wet and make sure you have a smaller brush if that's what you need okay all right so back to lupus guys so on the screen you see some symptoms that these people are suffering with and this isn't even all of them this is just some of the more common symptoms that they suffer with so mouth and nose ulcers can you imagine how painful that is 
oh my gosh, find yourself someone who has lupus and just give them a hug right now. Like, I feel like they need it. Skin, they could have patches, red patches, a butterfly rash. They could have heart issues, severe abdominal pain, anemia, high blood pressure, joint pain. Imagine waking up and just having joint pain for no reason at all. Like you didn't do anything wrong, but here it is. You just have joint aches and pains. Oh my gosh. Hair loss. Oh my hair loss. Oh my gosh. High fever, abnormal headaches, and I hate headaches. One thing about me, y'all, I can deal with a lot of pain. Like, I feel like I have a high pain tolerance, but headaches and stomach aches, I cannot deal with headache and stomach. I just cannot. Those two right there get me every time. Also, blood in the urine from the kidneys. You could have issues with your lungs. Oh my, it's just, it, the list just goes on and on and on. These, like I said, is not every symptom that they deal with is just more of the common ones oh my god this is it's just horrible it's horrible so i'm glad that there is a lupus awareness month just to bring awareness to this situation there is no cure for lupus right now unfortunately um but at least we can bring awareness to it we could empathize with the people that have lupus. And I know I posted this picture. So the nail art that I'm doing today, I did post this picture on my Instagram. And some of you guys DM'd me and told me, you know, you are grateful for this set because you're suffering with lupus. And some of you said, you know, someone else that was suffering from lupus. And it is very, very horrible. I know personally, my sister has lupus and she's going to hate me for this but i'm putting a picture of her right here oh my god ebony don't hate me so anyway here is ebony she is so beautiful and it just breaks my heart that she is suffering with lupus and she is only 30 years old and she's had lupus since like early 20s early 20s y'all she's been suffering with this for a long time so imagine over 10 years having like hair loss and and eczema and just pain just joint aches and pains and high blood pressure and just all that in your 20s the 20s is supposed to be when you're having the best time of your life and she was going through all of that from her 20s until now and i just feel so bad for her so this set of nails is for you my darling i don't think ebony's into nails i don't even know if she watches my channel <laughs> She may not even watch this video, but it's for her anyway. I'm going to send her the link. I'm going to send her the link. Look at this ombre, y'all. She better watch this video just for that ombre and the swirl. If nothing else, I feel like that swirl nail is life. I feel like that ombre is life. And Ebony, you better watch this video just for those two nails because I did those two for you. Okay, for you. Okay, so listen, y'all. I'm doing a little color blocking. I don't do color blocking often because color blocking, y'all, oh my God, it just takes so much time. You have to put it on the nail, right? You put the acrylic on the nail. You have to wait for it to dry. Then you have to file it. And then you add the next color. You wait for it to dry. You file it. Then you add the next color and you keep going and keep going depending on how many colors you're adding. So right now I'm adding my second color. So I'm going to put the color, let it dry, file it, then add the third color and so forth. Because I think for this one, I'm going to end up with four colors. Now, you saw me use the X-Acto knife. I don't like that. I'm, that's too dangerous for me. I see a lot of people do it for their color blocking. They pull out these little sharp tools and they cut it and it makes it so perfect. I don't like that. I feel like... I would be doing that on a real person and then she will sneeze or I'd sneeze or something will happen and then boop, I cut her whole finger off and I just, I, I can't, I can't do that. So I don't like that. I am going to finish this nail with my color blocking, but I'm not going to use any sharp tools to do it. So we're going to figure it out. We're going to do color blocking without any sharp tools. <laughs> Because I'm just not here for the blood. I'm just not here for it. I'm just not here for it. So I added my second color. 
and it's going to dry while I move on to my thumb. I must say y'all, if you ever do someone's nails and they ask for color blocking, make sure you charge them accordingly. Think about all the colors you're putting on that nail. Think about the time that it's taking you to do this and make sure you, you know, add a little upcharge or, you know, just a little something. Make it worth your time, make it worth your while. I know that is the hardest thing for me is charging people. I don't know, like my guy friend gets so mad at me. That's one thing, he's always mad at me. He just says, I don't charge enough. I'm like wasting my time, blah, blah, blah. Like he, we're, we don't argue, but if we argue, it's something like that because he says I should charge more. And I'm always like, no, because maybe they can't afford it, blah, blah, blah. He was like, well, if they can't afford it, then they don't need to get it, period, sis, period. They can't afford it, they don't need to get it because the time that it takes for you to do a color blocking nail like you could have just been done so that's extra time added on to the set so anyway long story short if you're gonna do this on a real person just make sure you charge or you know they tip you well or just something because it is very time consuming so back to the color blocking nail now that I feel like it's dried enough I'm just going to file it away so that it's nice and straight and I'm going to add my third color. And I think for my third color, I just want it to be clear. I like that little peekaboo, little window look. I think that is so pretty. So here we go. I'm just going to let this block uh, just be clear. And then my fourth one, y'all already know what, what color the fourth little block of color is going to be. Y'all already know. Y'all already know. It's going to be pink. Duh. <laughs> I feel like the pink is just, I don't know. I don't know. It's just bringing everything together for me. I don't know, y'all. Like <laughs> so as you can imagine, my favorite set of awareness nails is breast cancer awareness nails because those are just all pink, all pink, all pink, all pink. So yeah, I love doing a breast cancer awareness set. I think last year, I think I did two breast cancer awareness sets last year. Okay, you already know. Pink, <laughs> hello so yeah i had to add a little pink in here too i'm sorry if you guys are like oh my god here she go with that pink again i'm sorry but mm, it's just so visually pleasing to my eye and i have so many shades of pink it would be a crime not to use some pink okay so now i'm letting the pointer finger dry so while that dries i'm going to follow the thumb so i'm doing a reverse smile line but it's the exact same technique as the color blocking. So it's just as taxing as doing the color blocking nail. So basically the same rules apply. If you're going to do this particular design on someone, make sure you charge for your time. You know, Make sure you're doing a little bit of an upcharge if you're doing color blocking or a reverse smile or anything like that because it does add on to the time that you're sitting in that chair. You know, time that you cannot get back time that you cannot give to your family because you sat in that chair to make this person's nails look amazing so anyway just charge for your time so that way you get something out of it because they're getting something out of it right they're going to walk around for the next two three weeks looking so bomb right they're going to be looking good for the next two or three weeks you want to get something out of it as well so anyway now i'm going on top with that pink <laughs> that pink I love it. I love it. I love that pink. And I like how the pink feels like using it. You just have to kind of use it to know. But today, honestly, honestly, all the colors that I'm using right now, I have not had a problem with it. All these colors feel really good. They just feel really good. That pink feels very creamy and buttery. I don't know what else to call it. It feels very buttery, very creamy. I love using it. But all the colors today were playing well they work well they were playing well and i'm happy now with the color blocking and with the reverse smile line when you go with your other colors they will overlap the previous color and that's fine that's fine so you'll see pink gathered on top of the glitter don't worry about it don't worry about it once it dries you're just going to take your file and file it off and you'll be fine nobody will ever know so go ahead girl go ahead fella 
Go ahead, pile on the color. Pile it on. If it gets on the previous color, don't you worry. Don't worry. It'll all look good in the end. Trust me. Trust me. So, all right. So, now I'm just making it look good. Just adding a little bit of pink around the edges. Brushing it down. Making sure everything is nice and flat. So, I do have a little bit of space right at the tip. So, let's go ahead and cover you up cover you up and brush you down so smooth so pretty i'm loving this set i'm loving this set i'm loving this set i love using colored acrylics y'all because for me for me it saves time when i'm done when i am done with this set all i have to do is add top coat like i don't have to go to my polish wall and add colors i don't and dry it in a, like i don't gotta do all of that i, I no, i don't got time for all of that <laughs> i love me some colored acrylics y'all i really do i do i do it saves me a lot of time all right so just like before i had to file and make sure that my clear line was straight and so now, y'all, so I thought I was going to do pink. I thought I was going to do pink for my last little color block. But I changed my mind because I have the pink on the thumb. I have the pink on the thumb. And I was like, you know what? The theme is purple. The theme is purple. Let me add some more purple. So that's what I did. And, it, and I'm not disappointed. I'm not disappointed at all. I feel like the purple looks good. And just like I said before, it will overlap the previous color. So you will see some of the purple get on the clear. That's fine because once it's dry, you'll see me file it off. You'll see me file it, and then you won't be able to tell that the purple was overlapping the clear or that the pink was overlapping that glitter. You won't be able to tell it uh, once I file it away. So I'm just adding a little bit more of that purple. Make sure that it's nice and dark because the theme is purple. So we do need a lot of purple in this set. And voila, it is so beautiful. All these colors are so pretty. I know I told you guys that I wasn't going to use all the colors that I pulled out. But I ended up using all the colors. <laughs> I ended up using all of them. They're just so pretty. All right, let me show you guys the colors that I use. So the first one is white. It's a milky white, and it's from the company Not Polish. I do have a coupon code for that company. So coupon code and link will be in the description box. And the next color that I use is from the company iGel Beauty. It is called Joyful Lilac. I don't have a coupon code for this company. Um, and then the next color is a nice purple lilac color. Really like this color. This color is very pretty. This is from the company Sparkle & Co. I do have a coupon code for Sparkle & Co. So link and code in the description box. This other little beautiful glitter. Oh my gosh, y'all. This glitter was very pretty. This <laughs> Also from Sparkle & Co. This one says it's a topper. But as you can see, I did not use it as a topper. I used it as a standalone color and it worked perfectly it was it was a very pretty color and then this one is from Yoyogi. I do have a coupon code for this company as well link and code in description box beautiful beautiful purple and then this gorgeous creamy buttery pink y'all everybody needs this color in their collection this is from not polish as well and it's called in my feelings yes not polish got me in my feelings this color is so gorgeous okay so now that the nails are dry let's go ahead and file off that extra pink you know the pink that was overlapping that glitter let's take her away so nobody will know once that's done we are going to do a quick encapsulation now if you notice i did not touch that pointer finger yet i don't think the purple tip has dried i added that color on last i'm just going to give it a couple more seconds to dry so while I let that dry I'll go ahead and encapsulate the other fingernails just to save time so just real quick very wet bead of clear acrylic just to encapsulate the whole layer of the nail so that when I go to file them in a few minutes I won't mess up my art okay so that's all I'm doing the thumb I feel like came out really really pretty I like those two colors together I really do I just like them I don't know I just like it. it's just really really cute all right so everything's encapsulated let's go ahead and file off the overlapping colors on this pointer I feel 
feel like I did really, really good on my color blocking, even though I did not use that X-Acto knife. That was just not for me, y'all. It just was not for me. All right, so any awareness nail, right? Any good awareness nail, you need that awareness ribbon, y'all. You need the ribbon. You need the ribbon. So I got these from the Nail Candy Shop, and link will be in the description box. All I need is one. That's it. One beautiful purple ribbon. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. It's so cute. It just really brings the awareness set together. When you see a set of nails with a ribbon on it, you know that it's an awareness set. Whether it's autism awareness, whether it's lupus awareness or breast cancer awareness, heart stroke, whatever awareness it is, right? When you see the ribbon, you know that it's the you know it's real. The ribbon just brings it all together. So I'm just going to use acrylic to adhere my ribbon just to hold it in place. So I put a little bit of acrylic there just to hold it. And now I'm encapsulating the entire nail. So yeah, nothing really surprising or different there. I feel like this set is so cute, y'all. I just really love it. All right, so now that everything is encapsulated and dry, let's go through and file everything, file everything, file everything. So you know how I sing a song whenever I put the nails in a lamp to cure? I have a curing song. I don't have a filing song. I need a song to sing when I file the nails, y'all. I'm going to work on that. I'm going to work on that. And as you guys notice, I'm using my Air CE file. Yes, I am using my Air CE file because at the end of the month, I'm having a members only giveaway. I cannot wait. I just, I'm so cute. I just want to know who's going to win. I want to know who's going to win. <laughs> Me and you are going to have the same e-file. I might throw in like a little thing of glitter or something in there too. So me and you could have an exclusive batch of glitter. Yeah, maybe I'll make you like a little, maybe I'll make you like a little like glitter combo or something. Yeah, like a little exclusive glitter combo. I don't know. I'll think about it. I'll think about it. All right, so the nails are pretty much done. Let's go ahead and wipe off all the dust that we created. So in my pump bottle, I have alcohol and acetone. I'm just going to use that to clean the nails, clean off all the dust, but it's also a very good sanitizer as well. The nails are so cute, but let's go ahead and top it off with this top coat. Princess Nails by Diana Top Coat. Super thick, y'all super thick and I love using this top like it's so thick and creamy I've been using other ones lately just to kind of get a feel for other top coats but I'm back to this one again y'all <laughs> I'm back to this one I ventured out a little bit but here I am back again I really do like this top coat I really do let's go ahead and add a thin layer because this top coat is thick she's thick y'all she's a thick top coat all you need is a thin layer so let's pop her in the oven cure her and this is what we got gorgeous 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 beautiful lupus awareness set i love it i love every nail i do not have a favorite nail at all i think they all came out so beautiful and it was so easy if any of you guys recreate this look send it to me on instagram so that i can share it in my instagram stories for others to see and that is a wrap i will see you guys tomorrow don't forget to like comment subscribe share and if you guys did a lupus awareness set drop your link below so that i can watch it as well all right guys bye